y'all. Welcome to Wanika's Spotlight of the Month. Listen, I am so excited. Listen, it's been a month since I've seen you guys. I hope you guys had a blessed month. But listen, I'm excited. Why am I excited? Because you're here and it's <coughs> National Women's Month. And I'm excited. I've got some special guests with me today that we're going to talk about the home buying process today. So again, I am Wanika with the Wanika Hendricks Insurance Agency and just want to welcome you guys and hoping you have a great time with us today. So let's get this thing started. Let me just tell you, the first guest that we have today, she is, a listen, she is so amazing. She's been in the area for a while now in the real estate industry. You guys help me welcome Miss Allison Stocking with Good Faith Realty. Yay! Hey, how are you? Oh, doing great. Thank you so much for Good. taking time. Just taking time from your busy schedule to be here with Wanika today. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yay! Yay. Mm -hmm. So tell, I know a little bit about you, but I want you to tell the world that's watching today. Tell us a little bit about who is Allison Stockings. Well, I grew up in this area. Okay. Um, I was born and raised in Calhoun County. Okay. Um, I went off to play volleyball in college, and that's where I ultimately started my career was out in Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. Um, and once I started my career, I just never moved back home. Okay. <laughs> I finally decided to come back this way about five years ago. Okay. Um, but I'm married, and I have a daughter who's 17. Um, oh. We live in Southside, and my roots have always been in real estate and property management. Oh, wow. Um, I was previously a business owner, and I was also a school teacher, which is kind of crazy. Oh, wow. But um, I knew that my passion was real estate and management, and I was ready to kind of dive back into that. So that's what oh, I did wow. when I came back to Alabama. You, you just hit on a word that I love to talk about, which is passion, Allison. Mm -hmm. And even though you went to school to be a teacher, you mm -hmm. went and you did all that training with all the school, but it's nothing like doing what you're passionate about and your passion, when your passion leads mm -hmm. you to your purpose. Is, that's when we become productive and powerful. Mm -hmm. So, listen, at, tell us a little bit about the home buyer's process. So, every I get this question a lot, okay. and it's so important to first talk to your realtor or to a loan officer to get the process started. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when you're looking for a home, you have to remember this is one of the biggest investments right. you're going to purchase, that's right. and you want to be with somebody who's knowledgeable mm -hmm. and understands that process, okay. and two, that will lead you in the right direction. Right, right. Um, the biggest part of the home buying process is to get pre-approved with a loan officer. Okay, okay. Um, doing that allows you to figure out what your budget is, mm -hmm. because sometimes buyers don't realize what, in our mind, our budget may be different than what really on paper we can afford. That's right. um, and getting with a knowledgeable loan officer mm -hmm. will definitely set you up for success. Right. They're going to tell you what you can afford. They're going to tell you the different loan types. Gotcha. Um, and when you're purchasing a house, not everything on the market mm -hmm is FHA approved That's or true. USDA approved. And those for people that don't know are different loan types. Okay. Um, so it's really important you you get that information on the front end yeah. so that you don't have these crazy expectations right. and then you're let down. That's right. How long have you been a real been in real estate? So like I said, I've just I've grown up around real estate okay. my whole life. My dad did it, my grandparents oh, did wow. it, my uncles did it. Um, and my aunts did it, but I've been an agent here for four years. Oh, wow. um, I've been in property management a little over 20 years. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of experience that comes along with you. Mm -hmm. um, and it does help to be working with someone that knows the process mm -hmm. and can help you um, and direct you and you help guide your clients to that's the right it. avenues if they don't have a mortgage lender mm -hmm. uh, here. We've got some exciting news that we're going to announce after a while uh, later on in the show. Uh -huh. um, so tell us about, I know we had Chris Lindsay on not mm -hmm. too long ago with Good Faith Realty, but tell us what can we expect from you all in the near future? Well, we kind of hit the ground running when we opened our doors in 2020. Mm -hmm. We opened in the middle of the pandemic. And Chris and I had a vision mm -hmm. when we met, and we 
our visions aligned mm -hmm. and we knew that we wanted to start a company that was not based off numbers or the number of people we had in our agency right. in terms of real estate. Mm -hmm. Property management has always been a passion of mine, but real estate has been a passion of both of ours. And so for us, uh, community outreach is a huge thing. You will yeah. see us throughout the year, yes. not only pouring into our agents, but pouring into the community. Yes, yes. Um, we know that if we don't do those things, mm -hmm. we are going to just be like every other agency. Mm -hmm. And our goal is to set ourselves apart mm -hmm. and to know that we are an agency that do things in good faith, which, is, right. which is exactly why we named it that. I love it. I love it when we actually... Uh, live by the name mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, almost like a church. If the name mm -hmm. of a church is, you know, good faith, you know, you, you got to be a church that represents That's good it. faith, That's right? It. You know, um, also tell me what is it that Wanika Hendricks Insurance Agency, how can I, uh, how can I help you over at Good Faith Realty? Well, you've already helped us beyond. Oh, you have thanks. been so good to us. So one thing that Chris and I love about you is Chris and I represent a ton of investors. Mm -hmm. um, and most of our our investors are not here locally yeah. they're from out of state and when they come to us and they have questions about insurance mm -hmm. that is definitely not our lane <laughs> and we definitely send them your way oh. um, what you've been able to provide the others don't is you're very personable oh. and you've been able to you treat them like you've known them their whole life, and they're not intimidated. Yeah. I'll tell you this: one of my clients from California, oh, I um, you, I call, I told him you need to get with my Juanica on your insurance. Out there in California, they do things a little different than we do here in Alabama, and so he's always so impressed by how we handle things. Mm -hmm. um, but he was so thankful you walked him through the process and got him the insurance he needed because he said, you know, I called her. Two days later, I had my insurance, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like fighting tooth and nail to try to get everything together. She made it a very seamless process. Mm -hmm. So I think with how you handle your day-to-day -day business, that's huge for us. Oh, wow. And I just thank you guys for yeah. just partnering with me because, again, it's so many agents in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just thank you for referring your clients to me. Of course. And I also want to thank you publicly for the things that you guys are partnering with me on the things that I do in outreach into the community, mm -hmm. um, like the toy drives, yeah. backpack drives. Um, and again, I'm so excited for the news, the announcement I'm going to announce <laughs> later on in the show. Listen, thank you again for coming on the show. You are so welcome. <laughs> thank you for having yes. me. Yes, listen guys, I'm excited that we have a, another special guest coming on the show today. So. Also, we have another special guest coming out. Again, it's National Women's Month. We got some exciting news. Go grab your coffee. Go grab your snack. Go use the restroom and come on back. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to Wanika Spotlight. Listen, did you go get your donut? Did you go get your popcorn? Did you go get your, did you go get your break? Uh, but it's okay, though. Just remember me the next time you go get your donut, okay? <laughs> but listen, this has been such an exciting show on Wanika Spotlight of the Month, and we are sponsoring this month. It's going to be special because it's National Women's Month. And we are talking about, watch this, the home buying process. And I have a very special guest here. I call her my sister, y'all. My sister from another mister. You know, we are the opposite twins. I'm short, she tall. Uh, she's a little bit lighter than I am, but we are love, we love each other like you, like, like we sisters in Christ, right? So listen, help me welcome Miss Kyla Whitmore with Success Mortgage Partners. Y'all, thank you. Thank you're, you for having you're my me. My sister from another mister. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so Kyla. Thank you so much. I know it's, you guys are so busy, and you're taking time out of your you know out of your day to be here with me today. And I just want to first off, before we say anything, just thank you so much for being here today. Well, it's always a pleasure to spend time with you. I appreciate oh. you just as much. So. Oh, oh, tell us a little bit about Kylo Whitmore. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a wife okay. um, of 17 years to mm -hmm. my business partner Todd. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a mother to a 12-year-old son that plays basketball, football, mm -hmm. and baseball. So we travel mm -hmm. from field to field. Yes. Um, I love my family and I love God. Mm -hmm. And so 
I spend every waking moment that I can outside of my business with my family. Yes, ma'am. And I just, I just love your family. Thank you. But you know, you know, your son is he's 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 he's, he's just dear to my heart. Cause they, y'all, I gotta tell y'all what they did. They actually came out. Listen, y'all, believe it or not, I played in a basketball league a few months ago. Right? I was out there just dunking on folks. You know, I was out there shooting at all the threes. They couldn't, they couldn't touch me on the basketball court. But that's my story, and I'm gonna stick to it. Okay? But joking aside. They actually came out on a set. I think it was a Sunday afternoon. Her and her son came by. So those are little things that matter so much to let people. When people show you that, you know what? I support you and I love you and I just love. I just love y'all and I just appreciate uh, our friendship. Well, we love you back. So now that the world knows a little bit about Kyla, let's talk about a little bit about the Whitmore Group. The Whitmore Mortgage, Mortgage Group. With Whitmore Mortgage Group with Success Mortgage Partners. That's Tell us. us a little bit about your company. Well, we started in 2018 okay. um, as another lender, actually, and then we formed uh, the Whitmore Mortgage Group okay. with Success Mortgage Partners in 2019. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. That has been the best decision I ever made. They've been wow. the greatest business partner and alignment that we could have possibly asked okay. for. Um, and we have built a business uh, based on partnerships. Wow. and. And, um, uh. You're good. Listen, so you said you guys have been, started the business, started mortgage in 2018, formed your own business in 2019. So you technically, if that's the case, four years old. So you're well, still brand new. new, brand new. And then, boom, COVID hits. And we went home. And we went home. Yes. So tell us a little bit about overcoming those challenges in the midst of a pandemic. And then you got to think, I just started a business and what do I do? How do I do it? I've got employees, I got staff. Tell us about your process, the pros and cons of dealing with COVID and starting a business right before COVID, you know, pandemic. Well, thankfully, I already had a team formed. Okay. I didn't quite know what to do with them at the time. Yes. And when COVID struck, mm -hmm. we all went home and the coaching began. Wow. It took us about three months to adjust because yeah. rates dropped. Yes. Uh, our federal government flooded the entire mm -hmm. um, economy with yes. trillions of dollars yes. of money mm -hmm. and everyone came rushing to the market. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so the first thing was about us getting organized right. and triaging and making sure yes. that we, our clients were being taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, the great thing was rates dropped and mm -hmm. uh, the business was booming. Uh, it was booming. It was very <laughs> uh, fruitful yes, and there was a lot of ha low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, we were still able to keep up our purchase business, but what came with it was the refinance Definitely. business. Yes, and yes. so we have rolled with that for about two years mm -hmm. and now it is slowly sh or well, it's quickly shifting okay. uh, back to a normal market. That's a blessing. Uh, it is a blessing. I want to stop real quick because one of the things you said just now and that really caught me was the word team. It's important to have a good team, and that's what you have. You guys have such a good report. Talk about your team, the young ladies that you have working in the office. Well, I have the best team. Yes, you do. Um, I have three uh, ladies that work in my office, mm -hmm. and they basically see everything from mm -hmm. contract, or actually from lead mm -hmm. to close. Okay. Um, and so I have uh, Mandy Rozier, Mindy mm -hmm. Nesbitt, and Holly Wall all on my team. Okay. And uh, they make they make the customer service aspect yes. of this business. Yes. Uh, Y'all, this isn't rolling and we can like start over? No. No? <gasps> no, really? You done me wrong, Juanita. Man, she didn't, okay, so she didn't tell me I wasn't allowed to make mistakes on this show. So, but, you never, but you're doing so well because so we sweet. love you and we love your team. Well, and, that, you. and people don't realize when you start talking about people that you are passionate about, sometimes you can get caught up and you can get caught up in the moment. And it's okay. It's okay because guess what? You're passionate about your people, you're passionate about your family, and you're passionate about your clients. And I, that's what I want. Thank you. I want people to see the real you. Thank I you. I want people to see that you really care about the people that you – listen – one of our statements here, we're going to go to commercial here in a little bit, but one of my missions, and I'm one of my mission statement uh, with Country Financial is impacting the lives of the community in which we serve. And that's why it's important for me when I partner with people like yourself and Good Faith Realty, that's why I love partnering with you guys because you guys have the same mission. You live by what our mission statement is. Listen, we're going to come back here in just a little while. We're going to come back with Kyla. We're going to talk about a few more things. And we got a special announcement. So listen, go grab that other donut, and uh, we'll see you guys here in just a second. 
Welcome back. Welcome back to Wanika Spotlight of the Month. Listen, we have been having such a good time with Kyla Whitmore with the Success Mortgage Partners. Kyla, I want you to explain to the viewers, can you explain to them the home buyer seminar? I mean, the home buyers process. Absolutely. Um, so first, we always want to start by taking an application, mm -hmm. getting their entire employment history, their okay. assets, all of their personal information and pulling credit. Okay. Your credit report is gonna be the tell all of mm -hmm. whether you can purchase a home or not. Um, so we're gonna start with that application, we're gonna pull credit, and then we're gonna put together a plan for them on what type of loan program they qualify for. Gotcha. A lot of people call in and the first thing they ask me is how much am I approved for? <laughs> and I immediately say, okay, well let's talk about your payment budget because okay. I can, I can approve you for a $300,000 home, but that doesn't necessarily mean that in your world that you can make that payment. Right. You may be able to make it in my mortgage world, right. but not in yours. Um, so those are going to be the things that we set forth when you come through the door, and then hopefully um, we send you out looking for a home. And if not, we set you up with a plan. If you're awesome. not credit worthy at the time, mm -hmm. then we're going to map out a plan for you mm -hmm. to get yourself ready to buy a home and what's next for that. Awesome. So. And so that's what the team does. Basically, the team pretty much gathers the application, get everything together, and then you pretty much help them with the, basically the, the I don't want to say the closing process, but the ending process of that process of buying, purchasing a home. Is that correct? So my team takes everything from lead to con to closing okay. for me. Okay. I, I jump into the file when there is a need and we have issues going oh, wow. on with the file. Again, we um, just got through talking about team, y'all. Her awesome team that she has. Yes. We talked about her team uh, right before, uh, before the commercial. So tell us, we understand the home buyer process. So tell us a little bit about, we talked about how challenging it was for COVID for a moment, but you was able to adapt. And I think that shows a lot about who you are. And let me tell you why I say that. Being a new business owner, having a drastic uh, thing to happen that the world hasn't seen, and then you're able to adapt and still was able to prosper over it. So I just want to commend you, Thank you. Uh, for being able to sustain during a challenging time. So we talked about COVID. We've talked about, uh, let's see, we've talked about COVID. We've talked about the home buyers process. What can this community, what can our area, what can we expect from Success Mortgage Partners in the near future? So I actually volunteer uh, on our local board of directors for okay. Second Chance. If you don't know what Second Chance is, it is our local sexual assault and domestic violence mm -hmm. shelter here in Calhoun mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. We actually represent Cleburne, Talladega, Randolph, Etowah and Cherokee County, so we are very uh, widespread area. Uh, but we help the women and children in the, or, and also men in this wow. area wow. that have been um, subject to domestic abuse or sexual assault. Oh, wow. um, so we actually have our upcoming event. It's our 35th yes. anniversary. Yes. So we're having a great big celebration and celebration of that. Um, tell, tell the viewers real quick. I think we've got, we're gonna make time for that. Tell the viewers real quick, when is, when is that going to be? and where? So it is going to be May 22nd at the Aniston Botanical uh, Gardens mm -hmm. at the Aniston Museum for Natural uh, History and Art. Okay. I think I said that name right. Okay. I hope I did. <laughs> um, if not, um, I will we'll yes. post it up there. Um, but this event, we're looking for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually taking place of our fundraiser that we had in the Quintard Mall for Christmas. We okay. did gift wrapping. Okay. When 2020 hit, we got yes. displaced from the mall and that yeah. was our major fundraiser. So okay. this event is to take place of that fundraiser and to help us mm -hmm. keep that shelter running and be able to do community wow. outreach in our area. Wow, it's such a blessing. Um, and I want to partner with you guys and Thank do you. something and make a sp sponsorship. I ain't saying how much now, you know, but every little bit of help, right, y'all? Every <laughs> little bit But I definitely want to be able to partner uh, because it's, it's just a blessing what you all do over at Second Chance. And um, again, that's something I just applaud you on. Thank but you. again, because that takes time to volunteer and partner. And, and well, I'm able to do those things because of that magnificent team that I have. Because of your so. team. Yes, yes. What can Wanika Hendricks Insurance Agency, how can I help you? We are always a great bright light no. uh, when I call and I'm up in arms and I'm needing your support, but mainly just letting, getting 
telling people about us and letting them know who we are and what yes. we do. Mm -hmm. um, but you're probably one of the greatest referral partners oh. that I've ever met with, Juanica. You are you just, just said, such a caring you just person. Said and you just said they call me on TV. Man, you no, it's your, not. You're trying to make me you miss up my makeup. You have that <laughs> other's mentality, and I think that's what runs oh. a great team or oh, organization wow. or um, anything like Thank that. You. So I appreciate your partnership and the oh, things wow. you do in our community. Wow. So. That just means so I much to, to me. I strive to be like Juanica. Oh, goodness. Well, honey, listen, you ain't got much to do to oh, be like me. Now. Listen. Come on, take the compliment. Oh, You're good. great. Okay, you know I'll it. I'll take it. I'll take it. But it has been such a pleasure for having you on the show today. Thank you for having me. Um, but I got a special announcement that I need to tell the people about okay. real quick. Listen. Guys, on April the 10th, I need you to go ahead and put this on your calendars now. On April the 10th, uh, at the Oxford City Meeting Center, I believe at 5.30 p.m., but you can also check our Facebook pages uh, here in the near future. But we are excited that we are going to have a home buyer seminar that we want to invite you all out to. Whether you've purchased a home, if you know someone, come out and get some information. It's going to be free to the public. Um, don't think you're going to come in there and get no steak dinner, okay? You're going to get a little something, a snack or something. But you come on out because more, more importantly, we want to feed you with information. And so we're going to have Kyla Whitmore. Uh, hopefully, maybe a few of her teammates may be out there with us maybe. that night. We're going to also have Success Mortgage. We have, a, um, I'm sorry, Success Mortgage. And we're also going to have Good Faith Realty. Allison is going to be with us on the seminar. We have a few others. Myself is going to be there talking about insurance. But listen, I want to impact the lives and the community that in which I serve. So that's why today I'm honored to announce that Faith Christian School is going to be our school of the month, y'all. So y'all give them a hand. Um, I'm so excited. The teachers, they're going to get a pizza party. Listen, if you're interested in getting an insurance quote with Juanica Hendricks Insurance Agency, listen, all you got to do, listen, come in a little closer. Come in a little closer. All you have to do is just give me a call. Give us a call at 256 832 8779 uh, or stop by the office at 1709 Hillier Robinson uh, down at I think it's Sweet D uh, in Oxford, Alabama. We love to have you come by. Again, thank you for coming on and viewing us on the Wanika Hendricks Spotlight of the Month.